Happy birthday, Scorpios. Welcome to the Scorpio birthday reading. Uh, we're gonna do at least two spreads. We might do three considering, um, just dependent on how long the readings will be tonight. Um, but yeah, guys, I finally got to it. I'm done fussing with the new setup. I went back to the old way of doing shit. Uh, I just, it was just too much. The glitches of processing was just too much for me to deal with. So anyway, back to the old way of doing shit. So Scorpios, for those who are new to the way, to the way I do my birthday bonus readings, these are very, very general. I literally just ask for messages from us Scorpios, okay? So keep in mind, it could pertain to any aspect of your life. It's energy, it can be vice versa. It could be connecting, it could be about someone that you're connecting to energetically or someone within your physical environment. Um, also guys, time is not linear, so keep that in mind. It could be something you've recently gone through or something that's really kind of far off, all right? Whenever you're guided to watch the reading is when you're guided to watch it. Also guys, um, don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. Everything is gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy, Scorpios. So let's look at right into the first spread here, okay? get right into this um any messages from my scorpios any messages from my scorpios any messages from my scorps why do i feel like someone lost a fight oh god damn it it wasn't <laughs> the, sh the video wasn't shaking before when i was doing the monthlies hold on maybe oh gosh darn it hold on guys hold on hold up Hang in there with me. I think that's more sturdy. Oh, oh yeah, that's way sturdier. Okay, there we go. Uh, Scorpios, I'm getting this energy of like someone lost a fight. Or like lost a competition or something like that. I mean, they could have just lost a fight with you. I mean, Scorpios, we know. Let's be real, Scorps. Let's be real about that, right? <laughs> uh, Scorpios, you don't, you don't lose. You don't lose in fights. At least that's the Scorpio mentality. Um, but that's what I'm getting. It's like someone, it's almost like someone lost. Someone lost. Maybe, I, is it someone you're connecting with? I'm getting a lot of pain with it, to be honest with you. I'm getting a lot of pain with it. Oh, that doesn't feel very good. Anyway, let's, let's just dive in. Let's dive in. Any messages from my Scorpios? Any mess? Oh, 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 this doesn't look pretty. We have the tower in reverse, scorpionic energy. Could also be Aries because it's Mars. Three of cups, Cancerian energy. We've got page of wands. We've got the knight of pentacles. Virgo could also be earth or fire. But then we've got this. Then we've got this. Three of pentacles in reverse, Cappy. Seven of pence in reverse, Taurus. And then the knight of wands, Saggy energy. Could also be Aries or Leo. I see two different people here right out the gate. I see two different people. I see a Knight of Pentacles who's recently gone through a tower moment here looking for reconciliation, looking for reconciliation. And then we have someone over here where I, I feel like they're really upset. I feel like they're really irritated. I feel like there was some kind of fight here between these two individuals. I mean, it is more like this between these two individuals and the way it's sitting on my board. They're coming. They're like they're meeting. They're meeting. But I, I why do I feel like it's not going to go well? I feel like it's not going to go well. With the Three of Pentacles in a verse, Seven of Pentacles in a verse, and the Knight of Wands, like this is someone who doesn't really want to deal with other people here. They don't want to invest in other people. They don't want to invest in a team team situation or a collaborative situation. This person really does, okay? And this person recently suffered a tower moment. But I feel this, I keep feeling this energy of like someone lost. Like there was a competition or there was a fight and someone lost. This person's coming in clearly to reconcile. And this person's kind of like, fuck off. Oh, Scorpio. I feel like you're in the Knight of Wands. <laughs> Let's keep it going. Any other messages from my Scorpios regarding this spread? Any other messages from my Scorpios regarding this spread? I'm like, all of a sudden, I've got a little wave of emotion here. Um... Before this moment, I feel like some truth has been, some truth has kind of come to light. Oh, oh, some truth has come to light and I think it caused a fight. If it didn't cause a fight, someone just realized, someone just had that feeling of, I've lost. Oh God, okay. Any other messages from my Scorpios? Six of Cups, last card out, Scorpionic Energy. Yeah, I feel like something's gone down here in the past, okay? And it doesn't feel very good. It feels really awful, to be honest with you. It feels really awful. And I can feel this Knight of Wands is really like, fuck off, <laughs> fuck off. Kind of like, who do you think you are? Overall energy, we have the Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. 
someone's been hyper focused on this. I feel like it's the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like the Knight of Pentacles here has been really, really focused on trying to talk, on trying to speak. This person's got a lot of ideas too. I mean, with that page of wands, they have an idea on how to bring this together. But I feel like this person really doesn't want to hear it. They, they, they really don't want to hear it. I don't know what the hell went down here before, but there is soulmate energy here. Yeah, I feel like this Knight of Wands doesn't want to. I can feel like this person's really upset. I can feel they're really upset. And I feel like whatever this truth is, this truth is that like came out. That I think that caused the tower moment. It's almost like it wasn't meant to come out. Like, oh, well. <laughs> oh, I know what that energy is. You didn't you weren't supposed to know. <laughs> you were, this truth is like whatever this truth is it's got to be a big doozy it's got to be a big doozy because this knight of wands is pissed so let's go ahead and look at this tower moment let's go ahead and look at this <sighs> sorry it's like messing up my heart chakra um go with gilded do I have the tower in reverse what was this tower moment I'm hearing the word fight I'm hearing the word fight do I have this tower moment I have this tower moment. I heard of the, I just heard the word friend. Um, this could just be a friend of yours, Scorpio. This is between you and a friend, um, or a friend could have told the truth. Uh, I like it's it's really bothering my nervous system, so, which tells me it's really upsetting. Whatever it was is really upsetting. Do I have this tower moment? Moon in reverse, Piscean energy, could also be Cancer. Yeah, Jesus, High Priestess on the bottom, yeah. Some kind of secret came out, like, like you weren't supposed to know, Knight of Wands, you weren't supposed to know. You weren't supposed to find, oh God, like you weren't supposed to find out. Tell me about the Tower in reverse. Oh, this feels horrible. Tell me about the Tower in reverse. I'm sorry, Scorps, for your first reading. Oh. Tell me about the Tower in reverse. Oh, it's making my head hurt. Talk about the tower in reverse. Talk about this tower moment, please. Oh, well, well, well. Empress. Libra energy, Taurus energy, divine feminine energy. A truth about an empress. Empress could be a mother figure. Doesn't have to be. It's it's someone who also um, could be a business owner. Uh, someone who basically has been through a lot of shit, is very wise, is very mature. I do feel people... Uh, go to this person oh, this is interesting people gravitate towards this empress whoever this empress is people gravitate towards her or him could be a, could be a man tell me about this tower moment page of pentacles with the ten of cups in reverse and then we have the ten of pen sorry ten of cups in reverse and then we have the ten of pentacles here Page of Pentacles is usually a friend, so it's interesting that I'm like, I'm getting friend. Page of Pentacles can be a friend, but with Ten of Cups in Reverse and the Ten of Pentacles, it's like, it's a very weird combination, because Ten of Cups in Reverse is indicating, like, um, disappointment, unhappiness, oppression. I'm actually feeling <sighs> dismal. I'm hearing the word dismal here. But with the Ten of Pentacles, there is some kind of wealth attached to this, or some kind of money attached to this. I feel like this Page of Pentacles has a lot to say about a household situation. Wow, a possible family situation. A possible family situation that was secretive. Oh, Scorps, I don't like where this is going. Let's see what else we get for this tower. Well, again, look at there. Queen of Cups in reverse. Cancer could also be Pisces or Scorpio. That's a lot of pain right there. Jesus, Knight of Swords. Gemini energy could also be air or fire. Well, there's the truth. Truth is being spoken and it's pretty fucking painful to whoever's receiving it. Talk about the tower in reverse. Eight of pentacles. Could be, um, work. <laughs> Why was I got a brain fart? Uh, this could be news being found out at work or about work. At work or about work. That's for some of you. Eight of pentacles also student energy. Keep in mind, it's the overall energy. I feel like this is the knight of pentacles energy of being focused, working on something. Being focused on working on something. There's a truth being spoken to someone and it's really painful. Whatever it is, it's really, really painful about something that this Knight of Pentacles has been working on or putting effort into. Time about the Tower in Reverse. Jesus. Time about the Tower in Reverse. 
Oh, I see. Oh, I see lies. Tell me about the tower in reverse. Oh, it's making me sick. Oh, it's making me sick. Um, it's making me nauseous. <sighs> page of cups with the page of swords in reverse and the fucking queen. Sorry. <laughs> I can see where the knight of, knight of wands is upset now. Uh, with the queen of swords in reverse. Libra could also be air or water here. The page of cups is a is honest communication about dishonesty about dishonesty about lies overall energy we've got a king of swords in reverse aqua could also be gemini or libra i feel a family here a family is this a family of liars like what is, what is this scorpio what you literally have the the mother the father and the child like quite literally here quite literally i'm gonna use lenormand deck on this i feel like Mm, I, I can't help but feel secrets around like a family situation or a household situation. And when the truth is delivered, it's painful. Oh, it's making me so nauseous. Um, let's look at the Knight of Swords. We'll look at the Knight of Swords and see what this truth is. See if we can get more details here, okay? <sighs> Actually, will Lenormand even help with this? No, it probably won't. No, it won't. Um, I yeah, I, I can't help but feel like someone is like getting truth of like, oh, yeah, that all that that person put all their time into like a family and you just didn't know that they had a family like it, it seriously feels like that. It seriously feels like that. Um, I'm like flabbergasted. Uh, I'm gonna use, that's my favorite word lately. I'm gonna use spellcasters back here. Talk about the Knight of Swords. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. What's this truth that's being what's this truth that's being delivered? Tell me about the Knight of Swords. What's this truth that, that's being delivered here? What's this truth that's being delivered? Tell me about the Knight of Swords. What's this truth that's being delivered? We literally have the whole court for swords, by the way. The king, the queen, the knight, and the page. The whole court of swords is out here. This really feels like a whole family is involved. Tell me about the knight of swords. What's this truth that's being delivered? Oh, what's this truth that's being delivered? Tell me about the knight of swords. Interesting. Ace of pentacles? Something about money. I feel like it's something like directly about money. Tell me the Knight of Swords. <laughs> Moon in reverse again. Tell me the Knight of Swords. This could be a fight over inheritance. This could be a fight over inheritance. This could definitely be a fight over inheritance. Ace of Pentacles is usually an inheritance card. We have a whole court out here, literally, of the same suit. We have a really oppressive, unhappy family situation, but there's money attached to this. And I feel like with that, secrets are coming out. Tell me the Knight of Swords. Like, someone's not getting the inheritance they, they were supposed to. Or someone's finding out some, like, crazy family secret, like there is another family that's entitled to that inheritance. Tell me the Knight of Swords. Shit. <laughs> Talk about the Knight of Swords. Talk more about the truth that's being delivered. Oh, oopsie. Dropped a card. Hold on. Ah. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Cappy energy could also be Earth or Water with the Devil in reverse. Uh, more Cappy energy. A lot of freaking Cappy energy here. Queen of Pentacles in reverse is usually a disloyal spou spouse or disloyal partner card. Devil in reverse. It's like, it's almost like with the truth being revealed... Karma is now being dealt with. Karma is being dealt with. Yeah, overall, we have justice in reverse. Yeah, with the Ten of Pentacles. Justice in reverse around inheritance, money, or a family situation. And this Knight of Pentacles is coming in to say sorry. <laughs> I'm like, I, Scor Scorpio. I mean, we know shit can get crazy. Right. We know life is is can can be very, very fascinating. Life can life can have a lot of really crazy twists and turns. But like, seriously, it's being revealed that someone's been incredibly disloyal, a disloyal partner, a disloyal spouse here. A lot of karmic energy around that, a lot of toxic energy around that. 
We've got someone apologizing for lies, apologizing for deception. The person who's receiving this truth is incredibly hurt. And it's all revolving around an oppressive, unhappy family situation where there's a lot of money. I'm feeling a lot of money. I feel like someone's getting shortchanged or someone's getting the shitty end of the stick or someone thought they were going to get some kind of inheritance and they can't get it because it's entitled to someone else or entitled to a whole other family. Like, it's really feeling like that. This ain't going to be for everybody. But let's look at this Knight of Pentacles. Let's see who this person is and what they have to say for themselves, okay? Wow. Let's do the Cosmic Tarot for this one. This one, they could speak. Talk about the Knight of Pentacles. Talk about this Knight of Pentacles. Talk the Knight of Pentacles. God, we have a Knight of Pentacles meeting a Knight of Wands. That does not seem like it's going to go down very well, does it? Let's see here. We've got. Three of Swords, there's that painful shit. Libra energy, then we have the star, that's promising. Aquarian energy, and Eight of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy. This person feels guilty. This Knight of Pentacles feels really guilty. It's almost like they're carrying around like, like pain of guilt. Like it's so intense, it's painful here. And they want to heal the situation and release the tension. They want to release the pain. They want to relieve their guilt. They want to relieve their guilt. <sighs> So I feel like some of you're gonna be if you're the Knight of Wands, Scorpio. I feel like some are gonna be like that, just like what? It's just like, what? Some of the Knight of Pentacles. We have Nine of Swords in Reverse. Wow, Eight of Swords in Reverse with the Nine of Swords in Reverse. All Gemini energy. This person's been really in their head about this. They've been really in their head about this. Some of the Knight of Pentacles. Whoever this Knight of Wands is, Scorpio, do you feel like it's you? You might feel very ganged up on when you find out about this, about whatever these secrets are. Five the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, I like, keep getting this energy. Like, you weren't supposed to know. Ugh. Ugh. So about Knight of Pentacles? Let's see here. Three of Cups in reverse. Cancerian with the Magician. Mercurial, so Virgo gem. Also Aqua Scorp for me. Divine Masculine energy here. Yeah, they really... Scorpio, whoever this person is, they 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 really want to they really want to um, get closer to you as the Knight of Wands. They want to fix this. They want to apologize. Um, but with this energy, with the three cups and oh, with the three cups in reverse and the Magician, they really want to manifest it. But I I, I think they know it's going to be quite difficult. It's going to be quite difficult. Overall, we've got the freaking lovers with the Queen of Cups. Wow, wow. Gemini energy also did my Divine Soul connection card. And Scorpio, the person who's who's getting this news delivered to them is incredibly hurt by it. Incredibly hurt by it. I really feel like it's an actual lover or like someone who's a former lover or romantic interest. <laughs> I'm, I'm just feeling this Nine of Wands energy and I like I feel like this Nine of Wands either is going to just fucking explode or have nothing to say because they're just going to be just. <laughs> I mean, what do you say to that? What do you like? For some, there's like a possible secret family. Like it's it's just like what? <laughs> so I'm like what? Anyway, underneath that we do have uh, the Prince of Swords in reverse. Gemini energy could also be air um, or fire here. So yeah, there has been a lot of dishonesty, a lot of dishonesty, a lot of truth being withheld. I feel like this queen once they got this news just like stop talking. No more conversation. No more conversation. So. Let's look at this energy, this fuck off energy, this I don't want anything to do with you energy. Uh, let's look at the Knight of Wands. Let's look at the Knight of Wands. Jesus. Wow. Um, I'll go with honest truth. <laughs> honest truth. How ironic. All right. Talk about the Knight of Wands. Talk about this Knight of Wands character. Talk about this Knight of Wands character. The Knight of Wands character. Mm. Talk about this Knight of Wands. Let's see here. E yep. Mm. <laughs> Six of Wands in reverse, Jupiter Leo energy, and then that Queen of Cups. Yeah, this Knight of Wands is this queen. It's this queen meeting this knight here. 
pretty upset, pretty irritated. I'm also feeling a little like, um, it's not embarrassment. That's not the right word. It's like jilted, jilted. They feel jilted. They feel scammed, jilted and scammed. It's not the Nine of Wands. Wow. King of Cups. Scorpionic energy could also be water or air. So we got a true pair situation going on here. Jesus, the Emperor. Aries energy, Taurus energy, divine masculine energy. I feel like this queen is looking at this knight as if they're the King of, a, a King of Cups Emperor energy, but they're not happy about it. They're not happy about it. They don't, they don't want to deal with this person. They don't want to deal with this masculine energy. It's not the Knight of Wands. Even just like her face, like just look at that. Like even just her face. Just very much like, what? <laughs> what? It's not the Knight of Wands. Oh, mm-hmm. Yeah. Knight of Cups in reverse with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. They just look at this person like they're just... <sighs> They're just, they're just a liar. Like, they just look at this person like, you are just a liar. You were just, this is my inappropriate lover card, by the way, for those who are new to my channel. Nine of Cups in reverse can, is someone who, like, gives it all away to everybody or doesn't know how to do it appropriately or can be very emotionally manipulative or is quite a charmer. Wheel of Fortune in reverse, Jupiter energy, they're looking at this person like, 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 I just want nothing to do with you. You're going to bring me nothing but misfortune. You're going to bring me nothing but pain. Wow. Overall energy, King of Wands in reverse. Leo energy could also be fire or air. Yeah, they look at this person like they're very non-committal. Very non-committal, very self-serving. Like, like they're a freaking liar. It's unfortunate because this queen actually loves this king. So king slash king slash emperor. But they want nothing to do with them. Nothing. They're so irritated. I can feel it. They're so irritated. They're so upset. Oh. I, and again, this isn't for everybody. I really feel like secret family, on, honestly. Oh, Jesus. I really hope the audio didn't get messed up. If the audio got messed up, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Can't fix it. I don't want to start over. This is like a crazy ass read. Um, and this emperor feels really guilty. They feel really guilty. They just, they want to relieve their guilt. They want to relieve their guilt here. But it seems like money was a big component here. Um, they could have stuck with someone for money. They could have stuck with someone for money. Yeah, it just feels like big ass family secret. Big ass family secret. And now this queen looks at this emperor like, like you're nothing. You're gonna bring me nothing but misfortune. You're gonna bring me nothing but pain. Like they they can't even take this person seriously. Wow. And then we end with the six of cups. So I might as well, might as well look at that. Let's go ahead and look at that. Oh, shit. I'm gonna use the haunted deck. It is a Scorpio reading after all. Time of the Six of Cups. 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 For Scorpio, regarding this spread. Yeah, Scorpio, I'm, I'm feeling it's like there's like a lot of lapses of time with this person. And like, you maybe you've always wondered why. This could have been someone you dealt with a long time ago. And now you're like, you're finding out. For whatever reason or another, like you're finding out. It's not the Six of Cups. Or this could be all family drama. This could be all family drama or family drama tied to someone that you're like connected to where there's an inheritance issue and it's because finding out other people are entitled to it. Yeah, that shit ain't pretty. Ten of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy, and we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo energy could also be Earth or Fire. Yeah, I just feel betrayal. Wow. Yeah, I just feel major betrayal with that. It's one of the Six of Cups. It's one of the Six of Cups. For Scorpio, regarding the spread, tell me about the Six of Cups. Ooh. Oh, geez. Okay, hold on. We got quite a few cards that came out here. 
Ugh. Wow. Seven of Wands in reverse, Leo energy. The Hangman, Piscean energy. Uh, Page of Cups, and then we have, yeah, Lovers in reverse, Gemini energy. This person's just, this, this betrayal feels really heavy. It feels really intense. It's like someone's realizing they betrayed someone who's really loving and really loyal. But why would you realize it after the fact? It's like, you knew what you were doing. I'm like, right? It's like, you, you knew what you were doing. You knew. You knew what you were doing. With the seven of wands in reverse, I, I feel like someone is um feeling a lot of shame. They are feeling shame. I mean, it doesn't fix anything. <laughs> like, right? It, like, it doesn't fix shit. It doesn't fix shit. And with that page of cups, they do want to apologize. But it's like, what's up? Scorpio, I'm sorry. I feel like I'm so in your energy. What's an apology going to do? It's just words. It's just words. Over energy. Ace of swords in reverse. Lies. Lies, 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 lies. I want to see if I can get more details on this betrayal. It's like, it's just, it seems so in depth. Tell me more about this betrayal. Oh, well. The ring with the ace of wands here so betrayal around a commitment possible marriage tell me about this betrayal and then we'll move on to next spread tell me about this betrayal the well oh shit the well goes deep the well goes deep the well goes deep is what i just heard it goes deep it goes deep i'm hearing layers it's almost like layers of lies, layers and layers and layers and layers of lies. Someone might have had a double life here, Scorpio. It's needing to go. It's like almost needing to go um, years back too. needing to go years back to get the full story of where this all started. Tell me more about this betrayal. Tell me more about this betrayal. On the bottom, we've got the path. Choosing a new path, choosing a new direction with the Queen of Pentacles, energy of 22, a master number here. Yeah, Scorpio. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Nose gets really itchy when I channel. Scorpio, I feel like you you, you left. I feel like you just, you, you just got to leave this behind. Just got to leave this behind. The betrayal runs so deep. The betrayal runs deep, okay? Deep. Uh, it's like almost feels like years long. It's like it's it's really a really crappy energy. Um, and it's like, I don't know how it could take someone. Oh, oh I, pe people can be shitty. There's shitty people everywhere. But it's just like I, the, hearing the like you weren't supposed to find out. It's like, <laughs> you know, it's like almost more like it's like putting like salt on the wound there. It's like, oh, you weren't supposed to know. Oh, I wasn't supposed to know about the big fat betrayal. <laughs> I guess, I suppose. Wow. Oh, Scorpios. Let's see if we can get you something a little more cheery, okay? <laughs> let's get it, let's get some different messages here for some other Scorpios. Um, whoever is going through this or went through this, because some of you have went through this already, uh, I am so sorry. Like, I don't have another word for wow. I think that just says it all. Just wow. Just wow. People are people are people got some nerve. People have got some nerve. Some of you, I think, oh, yeah. Some of you expected to, like, move in with this person or get an engagement ring is what I'm getting, too. And pff, this shit comes out? Like, what? What? Sorry, I'm, like, I'm getting all distracted. Trying to put my cards away. I'm just, I'm so in this energy, and I just, I, I just, just people are amazing. In a, in a bad way sometimes, in a really bad way sometimes. Wow. All right. So let's get a, let's get, let's get a new spread going. Let's get a new story on the board. All right. All right, Scorpios. This is going to be for a different group of Scorpios. That's how I sent the attention. Sometimes they do relate. Sometimes they do connect. Okay. Oh, any other messages for my Scorpios? Any different messages for my Scorpios that they need to know? Or any messages for a different group of my Scorpios? Any messages for a different group of Scorpios or different messages for Scorpios? Mm. 
One more. Okay. There we go. Any different messages for my Scorpios or any messages for a different group of Scorpios? Any messages for my Scorpios? Any different messages, please? Or any messages for a different group of my Scorpios? Come on, Scorps, don't get scared away now. <laughs> oh, no, 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 that didn't feel right. Any other messages for my Scorpios? Or messages for a different group of my Scorpios? Yeah, that really wants it. Oh, God. <laughs> you just gotta laugh sometimes, guys. Like, sometimes laughter is the best medicine. I know, I know. Hierophant in reverse, Taurian energy in the Nine of Swords, Gemini energy. Something's broken. Something's been, something's broken. Something's broken and it's it's consuming someone's mind here. It could be someone you're connecting with, Scorpio. It could be a Taurus here. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm getting. It's like someone is resisting. Someone's resisting or something's broken or about to break. And it's like, it's consuming someone's mind here. It's consuming someone's mind. A lot of late nights. I am getting crying. I am getting a lot of crying here. A lot of, ooh, and a lot of drinking. A lot of drinking, a lot of smoking, too. A lot of drinking, a lot of smoking. Oh, I just saw pills. Okay. Okay. Someone's really upset. Someone's not coping so well. Someone's not coping. Any other messages regarding this spread? Someone's got a knee brace on. Why am I seeing, why am I seeing this? I'm seeing a, um, a black knee brace on a left knee. It looks like a man's leg. Very muscular man's leg, by the way. But not a very long leg. I like. I can't see. I'm. They're literally just showing me the leg. Like they're sitting in an office chair. They're just showing me the lower half. That's so weird. Um. I feel like this is the person who's upset. That there. I can only see the bottom half. <laughs> I can't tell you. Can't tell you more about this person. Uh. They've got wood floors though. I can see that. Queen of Swords in reverse. Gemini energy. Uh, Libra. Could be done with Gemini. Uh. Libra energy. Uh, could also be air or water. This person's not talking. This person's not talking. This person's not talking. I feel like this person is really all consumed about this individual. <sighs> Ace of Cups at the bottom. So matters of love. <laughs> matters of love. Yeah, this Queen of Swords is not saying shit. Not saying anything. Very guarded. Very guarded. Wow. God, Scorpio, really? Four of Wands in reverse, Aries energy, and on the Hermit, Virgo energy. Give it another Virgo. Strong Taurus, strong Virgo. We did get Gemini as a little slip, and we have a Gemini card here, and we also have Aries. Fluggy, like you guys wanted me to call it the signs for a hot minute. Um, Someone's trying to get clarity about something that's broke broken. About something that's broken. This looks like divorce energy, too, for some of you, especially with Libra energy being right here, and the hair font in reverse with the Four of Wands in reverse. Yeah, for some, this is um, divorce or separation or breakup. And someone's getting enlightened about it, about what's already been broken, what's already been broken. And the person, there's another person who's not speaking, not communicating. Any other messages for my Scorpios regarding this spread? Oh, Jesus, Scorpio. Any other messages for my Scorpios regarding this spread? We're going to do a third one. We're going to do a third one. Don't worry. We'll do a third spread. We'll do a third spread. I haven't used Romance Angel deck on that one. Last card out, Four Cups in Reverse, Rejection. Overall Energy, Seven of Pentacles in Reverse, Taurian Energy, Bad Investments, Wasting Time, Wasting Time. Someone really regrets investing in something. Really regrets investing in something. So we have an energy here who knows something's broken. They're all consumed by it. The other energy that they're thinking about is not talking, not communicating. I feel like the person who's all consumed is the one who's seeking enlightenment about what's broken. And it all ends in rejection. It all ends in abandonment. 
too much time was put into this. That's what I'm getting with this. Too much time was put into this. Too much time was invested. Oh, oh shit. Okay. Spirit just got a little sassy with me. I almost don't even want to say it. It sounds so... It sounds so cold. I guess it's been going on for such a long time here, guys, for whoever's resonating with this, especially with the hair font right here that I think Spirit's been trying to nudge these individuals to end this for quite some time. It sounds really horrible. That's why I don't want to say it. And it's like, sometimes they get a little bit like that. Like, not like horrible, but like, okay, I'll just tell you what they said. <laughs> they said it wouldn't be so painful if you had just taken care of business. Sometimes they're hard asses. Sometimes they're hard asses. Um, but let's go ahead and look at this Nine of Swords and see what's going on in this person's head. The person who's all consumed by this. Um, I haven't used this deck in a long time. Because um, the original one got ruined. It's the Witch's Tarot deck. And this one I bought, it's like, because I didn't want to buy the book and everything all over again. It's kind of like a smaller version. So that's why I haven't used it. But I'm feeling compelled to use it here. <laughs> it's so tiny. Okay. Title is Nine of Swords. Sign with the Nine of Swords. Sign with the Nine of Swords. Yeah, I feel like someone was not listening to their intuition here. Because like I can feel it. It's like there's been a lot of signs, a lot of nudges, a lot of moments where this really should have ended already. And like both parties should have walked away from, but it wasn't let go of. <clears throat> Tell the sign of swords. Play with the sign of swords. Play with the nine of swords. What's going on with the nine of swords person? Oh, well, three of swords, Libra energy, heartbreak. Okay. Okay. Play with the nine of swords. I do feel like this person's purging a lot too, which I think is actually helpful, but I mean, being this stressed out is not cool. Talk about the Nine of Swords. That's too many, Spirit. Talk about the Nine of Swords. Talk about the Nine of Swords. Oh, jeez. Star in reverse, Aquarian energy. So no faith. This this person's really lacking in their faith, which means they're not connecting to their higher selves. They're not listening to their intuition here. I just feel like they're kind of overcome with emotional stress and pain. And sometimes that happens. And when that happens, sometimes you're, you're not as connected, right? The moon, Piscean energy, also Cancerian. Yeah, it's like this person's got a major block in intuition. Now we have the page of wands here. Ooh, ooh, secretly wanting to communicate. Secretly wanting to communicate. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. The Fool. Aries energy could also be Aquarian. That's a Uranus card. Someone secretly wants to take a leap of faith into something new, into something brand new. The Fool is not usually a second chance. It's usually about something new. But it's a secret desire. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. Overall energy, Jesus. Yeah, we got that Queen of Swords in reverse again. Libra energy could also be air or water with the Eight of Wands, Sag energy, communication and forward movement. Whoever this Nine of Swords energy is, they want to move towards this queen. They want to move towards their this queen. Oh, oh almost said their queen. They want to move towards this queen. They're heartbroken. They're lacking a lot of faith here. They're struggling to heal. They're purging, but they're struggling to heal at the same time. And secretly, they want to take a new shot at something or a shot at something new. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's take a look at this Queen of Swords then. See what's going on with this person. Why they're not talking to this individual. Um, I'm going to use Crystal Visions. So I have this Queen of Swords in reverse. So I have the Queen of Swords in reverse. So I have the Queen of Swords in reverse. For Scorpio. Getting the word pan. 
Why am I getting alert? I feel like so. I feel like someone's arguing with someone over like what the proper pan is for something like for pie. I don't know. This is weird. That's like a weird little thing that just came in. Someone's arguing over pans. I don't know why I'd be arguing over pans. That's gotta be one person. Do I have the Queen of Swords in reverse? Oh, magician in reverse. So manipulation. I'm also hearing control. Manipulation and control. This Queen of Swords isn't talking because I feel like they're looking at someone like they're a manipulator. Say more about this Queen of Swords. Keep in mind, Magician is Gemini energy, and I accidentally called the Queen of Swords Gemini. So you could just be called a Gemini, or you, you know, you could be Gemini cross watching. Two of Pentacles, juggling. Why? <laughs> I love you guys. I'm just tired of seeing people juggle shit and juggle people. There's a manipulator who likes to juggle. And this Queen of Swords knows it. And that's why they're not talking. Feels like it could possibly relate to the first read. Oh, and look, an Empress. <laughs> Libra energy, Taurus energy, divine feminine energy, very maternal energy. Usually someone who's committed doesn't have to be. Let me remember this Queen of Swords in reverse. The moon, more secrets. Pisces could also be a uh, cancer. Ah, uh, page of swords. So again, more, more secrets not being spoken. More secrets not being spoken. Um, I also feel like someone saw something. Someone saw something. I feel like this queen of swords saw something, found something, and they just didn't say anything. So they just stopped talking. Do I have the Queen of Swords in reverse? Let's see here. Wow, temperance and strength. Oh, someone's exerting a lot of willpower right here. I feel like this, it's so funny because I feel like this queen does want to talk secretly and I feel like this Nine of Swords person wants to talk secretly. <laughs> Yeah, I really feel that way. A little bit of mirroring going on here, but I feel like this queen saw something. And it's something about juggling. Something about juggling, but overall, they're exerting a lot of willpower to not say shit. To not say shit. I'm like, Scorpio, this could definitely be you. <laughs> Scorpio, this could definitely be you. This is a lot of discipline to just be like, to just vanish and disappear. The epitome of a Scorpio. Overall energy, we do have four of wands. Aries energy, okay? So a foundation, right? Underneath that, we do have queen of wands in reverse. Aries energy could also be fire or water. Queen of Wands in reverse energy. Uh, it's someone that's not very real. It's someone who's very ingenuous or very ingenuine here. Um, this could also indicate a third party situation, like I said, because there's ju there's clearly juggling going on. Clearly. Clearly. This Queen of Cords. Queen of Cords. Queen, queen of Swords saw something, definitely saw something, kept it to themselves, and just decided, I don't need to talk to this person. Mm. I don't need to deal with this person. I don't need to deal with this person. Someone was wearing a mask in this relationship, for sure. For sure, someone was wearing a mask. And I feel like it was the Nine of Swords person. I feel like they were found out. Wow. But it's just like, if this relationship was so forced, why was there so much time put into it? Like, I feel like this is just like the... The epit epitome example of holding on to something that doesn't serve your highest good just because it's there, just because it's what you're used to. And someone ended up clearly needing to go outside the relationship. Clearly. Well, all right. So let's go ahead and look at the four, four swords, four wands in reverse with the hermit energy. Let's look at the hermit because I really feel like there's someone trying to gain enlightenment here. Um, right or wait. Tell me about this hermit. Tell me about this hermit. Tell me about the enlightenment that's being sought out here in this situation. Tell me about the hermit. Jeez. Wow. Oh, if that is not it, the epitome of an ending. Death, Scorpio, judgment reverse, fire energy, also Scorpio. Yeah, endings and endings, okay? Major endings. The only thing that would put a little stamp on it would be a Ten of Swords here, okay? Something's definitely done and over. 
Something's definitely done and over here. No chance of revival. Talk about this hermit energy. Someone's accepting this. Someone's trying to accept this. I feel like it's the masculine energy here. Talk about the hermit, this nine of swords person. Talk about the hermit. Jesus, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Cappy energy can also be earth or water. This is a disloyal spouse. Disloyal spouse, disloyal partner. Yeah, something's dead. Wow. There was way too much investment. There's way too much investment in this. I mean, it feels like it was something that was very dysfunctional. Time about the Hermit. Oh, God. Five of Swords. Really? Oh, major mind games and major feelings of defeat. Major feelings of defeat. Time about the Hermit. Time about the Hermit. Someone definitely walked away out of the situation. I feel like it was this Queen of Swords energy. Time about the Hermit. Last card out. Yep, the fool. Aries energy, could also be Aquarius, could be Uranus card. Yeah, someone walked away. Someone walked away. Someone just decided, I don't, I don't need to, I don't, I, I, no. <laughs> like, just no. I'm not, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. And I feel like it was this Queen of Swords energy. Overall, we do have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Instability, lacking in confidence here. Yeah, this person who's all up in their head and like really hurting and wanting to talk to this queen of swords secretly wanting a new, secretly wanting a new start here um after jesus after some kind of bullshit came out about juggling they they become enlightened that it's it's truly over the the relationship they were in truly truly over and there was major defeat here and and it's just like they're done they're done they're just done four of cups in reverse Let's take a peek and then we'll do an, a, a third spread. Uh, oh, what deck is over here? Oh, no, let's use one from over here. No, I want Steampunk. There we go. So I have the Four of Cups in reverse. So I have the Four of Cups in reverse. And then for the last one, we'll do Romance Angels. We'll do Romance Angels for the last one. So I have Four of Cups in reverse. I have a four of cups in reverse. Four of pentacles, Capricorn energy. Oh, someone hasn't let go of this? Really? Oh, they're trying to accept it. They're trying, yeah. It's that hermit energy. They're trying to accept the loss. They're trying to, they're trying to accept that this queen is done. Oh, the queen of swords is done. Tell me about the four of cups in reverse. But oh, they're having a really hard time letting it go. Tell me about four of cups in reverse. Yeah, yep, nine of swords. The trademark of this individual right now. If I could pick up the cards. Gemini energy, double confirmation there. It's probably gonna take this person some time to accept it, but they, they will eventually, they will eventually. Then remember the four of cups in reverse. Oh God, yeah, 10 of pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy. So for some, like I said, this could have been a divorce, a separation, a really, really painful breakup or a breakup of a very long-standing foundation a relationship. I, I feel like it went way on, like long, like went, went on for far longer than it should have. Tell me about four of cups in reverse. Yeah, geez, eight of pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy. Someone's really struggling at work because of this. Really unfocused, not very productive. Talking about four of cups in reverse. Over energy. And there it is. What did I say? Ten of swords is just the final stamp. Death, Scorpio. Ten of swords, Gemini. Yep. And then the four of ones in reverse. Aries, more of that broken foundation energy. With the magician making a reappearance. And lovers in reverse. Yeah, this is just, this is broken. This is done. Three of pentacles in reverse. No collaboration, broken foundations, broken connections. Uh, final ending here with the Ten of Swords and the Death card attached to rejection and Nine of Swords energy. Not putting in any effort into it. Ten of Pentacles in the verse, a loss of a foundation. 
yeah, this 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 masculine energy is having a really hard time accepting it. A really hard time. They're trying to, which is why I think they might be a little MIA and like kind of, you know, keeping to themselves a little bit to deal with it as they should, as they should. But this Queen of Swords, it's like once they found out they were just they're done. Done done for good. Done for good. Done for good. Oh, Scorpio. I was really hoping for like some like fun and sassy sort sort of sort of messages here, but you know, these clearly this message has to get out. Clearly this message has to get out. So so let me clear the board and then we'll go ahead and do a final spread and I'll use the Romance Angels deck for this one. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay. My board gets very messy. Give me one second. Here's up. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. Yeah, let's get Romance Angels out here. Did I get them all? Yeah. Oh, Scorpio. Can I get messages for a different group of Scorpios, please? <laughs> or different messages for Scorpios? Anything else Scorpios need to hear or be aware of? Or messages for a different group of Scorpios, please? Any oh, different messages to my Scorpios? Or messages for a different group of Scorpios, please? One more. Hmm. They just showed me a raccoon. That's a very mischievous energy. It's a very playful energy. Um, it can lean towards deceptive, but it's a very like scrappy, resourceful, kind of playful energy. Any other messages from my Scorpios? No, I'm taking that. That was too many. That was too many. Any other messages from my Scorpios? For a different group of Scorpios or different messages? Oh, okay. Interesting. So we have honeymoon and engagement. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Your love is ascending to a higher level of commitment here. Okay. So honeymoon is a distance card for me. It's also a travel card, but engagement is exactly how it sounds. It's it's leveling up. It's leveling up in a commitment or it's leveling up in your own uh, growth, like an ascension sort of energy. Um, but I'm actually getting like distance makes the heart grow fonder. Distance makes the heart grow fonder. You could be dealing with someone who's actually geographic geographically far from you. Any other messages from my Scorpios? Oh, we got release your ex. It's the time has come to clear your energy. Yeah, I feel a distance here, Scorpio, like a geographical distance. Like I said, it doesn't have to be. It could be emotional, di emotional distance. But someone's this this connection, Scorpio, whoever's resonating with this, it's actually getting more intense. The less time you guys interact, like the less you guys interact with each other, the more intense it's getting. But someone really needs to clear their energy out. Someone really needs to let go of their baggage or get out of a cycle or get out of a situation here. Oh, this is interesting. Yeah, Scorpios, I'm getting that as the connection's getting more intense, the less you guys are talking. It's like it's building the tension, right? Um, but I feel like it can't come to a climax because someone's holding on to something that they really need to let go of. Any other messages from my Scorpios regarding this spread? Overall energy. Ooh, we have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Ooh, we got new love on the bottom of that, Scorpio. Okay, I like this. I like this one. I like this one a lot. All right, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings, Scorpio. Yeah, I really feel like whoever it is that you are like distant from, geographical or emotional, whatever, you guys are spending less and less time together, which is interesting because Scorpio, it is like a new opportunity with someone and it's requiring for, I feel like both of you, honestly, to kind of be optimistic here. And I feel like you're not being optimistic. And I think that's why there's been more distance between the two of you lately. Oh, Scorpio, this feels juicy. Okay. So Scorpio, you two have been distancing yourselves because I think both of you are not optimistic about this both of you I think are kind of either scared of this or a little like guarded with each other or there's some kind of obstacle in the way Scorpio and it's like both of you are kind of like yeah I don't know if I can trust nah, I don't know I don't know I don't know so you guys are distancing yourselves from each other both of you are doing this but it's almost making it harder to ignore 
it's almost enhancing the connection. Both of you might need to let go of your past here. I feel like it's both of you. I don't feel like it's just one of you. There's something going on that's hanging the two of you up, like getting in the middle of you two. And that shit needs to be cleared out, whatever it is, because this connection is becoming undeniable. The more, the less and less time you guys put into it. This is so fascinating. I can feel it. Both of you have tried to like not engage in this recently. But new love and keep an open mind. It's like, it's like alarm bells. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> like, don't, don't be so closed off to this. Like, don't be so closed off to this. And I feel like you almost can't at this point anyway. Yeah, it's like, it's getting stronger. Okay, so let's look at honeymoon. Oh, oh, oh. Don't want to look up there. Sorry, I got a whole other shit going on over there. Anyway, so let's look at Honeymoon Scorpio. Let's take a peek at that. What deck do I want? You know, I want this one. I want Cosmic. God, I'm running out of space. Okay. Sorry about Honeymoon. Sorry about Honeymoon. Honeymoon for Scorpio. Can I have this honeymoon card? Can I have a honeymoon? Honeymoon? Oh, yeah, Ace of Cups in reverse. You guys are trying really hard to ignore this. <laughs> yeah, both of you are. Both of you are like, maybe I'll skip out on this opportunity of love. I don't know. Eh, maybe not. I, I, like, there's this problem and that problem. What about this? What about that? Spirit's like, try. Please try. <laughs> Spirit's like, please try to be open minded here. Play about Honeymoon? Yeah, I just feel like you're just not looking at it. It's there. You're just not looking at it. Tell me about honeymoon. Uh, see, Scorpio. <laughs> Ace of Pentacles. You're trying really hard to not look at the really abundant opportunity here, okay? Ace of Pentacles is not just a new beginning. It's an abundant beginning, okay? It's a very promising beginning. It's a very successful kind of beginning here. <laughs> Scorps. Tell me about honeymoon. Oh, yeah, see, justice in reverse, Libra energy. Yeah, th this shit's gonna come to a head, Scorpio. It has to, because the fact that both of you are distancing yourselves or one of, let, let's just say one of you is, I really feel like it's both of you. Uh, that's causing a major imbalance. It's causing a major imbalance because it's very abundant. It's very promising. And with Ace of Cups in reverse, you're just not looking at it, but there's love there. Oh, there's love there. But there's imbalance now because you're just, you're choosing to distance yourself. And like I said, I feel like it's both of you. I don't feel like it's just one of you. Talking about honeymoon? Could be marrying each other. Talking about honeymoon. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Two of Pentacles in reverse. Cappy energy. Yeah, I Scorpio, I feel like you're just... It's just too much to look at. It's too much to look at. It's a little confusing. It's a little overwhelming. It's a lot of I don't know as I don't know as I don't know. So that's it's a lot of that. It's a lot of I don't know as what ifs. Eh, maybe maybe I'll just just I'm just I just can't look at it. I just can't look at it. It's got too many question marks. I just can't look at it. Over energy, the nine of swords, Gemini energy. Look at that shit. <laughs> it's a very awesome illustration of the nine of swords, by the way. I feel like all those are your thoughts just being hurled at you. What if, what if this, what if that? And if there's geographical distance, I'm sure that's a big question of like, how long can we do long distance? I don't want to do long distance. Why would I do long distance? Eh, I just won't look at this opportunity. But you're trying to like look away and it's like, you can't help but still think about it. Cause look, Nine of Swords, it's like being haunted by it almost. Yeah, being haunted by it. You're trying really hard to drop it and you can't, you can't. <laughs> it's kind of funny actually. Sorry, it kind of is. Uh, let's look at engagement here, okay? That's where I feel like the connection's actually getting really strong. It's getting a lot stronger. Um, 
oh, I really want to use sexual magic, but I don't want to have to like, yeah, I don't want to deal with YouTube and all of that bullshit. So I'm going to use Crystal Visions for this one. Tell me about engagement. Tell me about engagement. Tell me about engagement for Scorpio. <laughs> Seven of Pentacles, Taurian Energy, Evaluation, and a pause, by the way, a big-ass pause there. <laughs> I, I don't mean the last Scorpio. It's just like you can't get it out of your head. You're not looking at it. You're trying to push it away. It just seems like it's too hard or it seems like there's too many obstacles, even though Spirit's like, just try to be positive about this. Just try to see the beauty in it, the magic in it, the promise in it, because it looks very promising, Scorpio. It does look very promising. You're just choosing not to look at it, but at the same time, it's like the connection's growing. It's like it's growing legs. It's very interesting because with the Seven of Pentacles, it's like, maybe I can invest. Maybe I really want to invest. I do really want to invest. It's it's a very interesting little realization here. Um, I feel like you feel them too, like actually feel them energetically. Talking about engagement, but I, again, it, it can't reach the, the climax of you two getting together because something does have to be released here or let go of, <laughs> you know to speak there. Talking about engagement. Jeez, hold on here. What do we got? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo could also be Earth or Fire with the freaking Ten of Pentacles. You have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. Talk about long-term stability right there. And that's practically a gift. Honestly, that's practically a spiritual blessing. But with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, there's no movement towards that. No, there's no movement towards investing in that. But it's here. It's You can't ignore it. Like you're trying to and you can't. So much so that someone, and I feel like honestly both of you, are actively not budging. Like very stubborn. Like I won't do it. No. I can't. No. Too, too many logistics. Some of, you, some of you are actually having that thought. Too many logistics. Too much shit to figure out. Talking about engagement. Oh, jeez. Eight of cups in reverse. Piscean energy. But you can't get over it. You can't get over it, Scorpio. And like I said, I really feel like it's mutual. I don't feel like it's just you. It feels like it's so weird. It feels like two people's energies just combined. It's almost like massive mirroring effect. Talking about engagement. <laughs> Four of Wands. Aries energy. You can't get over the fact that you really want this. You think it's too hard. You think there's too much shit going on. You think they're too far away or what, whatever. So you're trying not to look at it, but Scorpio, you know damn well that you want this. Or person of Scorpio. I really feel like it's both of you, honestly. It's like about engagement. It's like about engagement. Overall energy. Interesting. We have death. Scorpionic energy. Something's changing here. Something's changing. I don't feel like this is over. I don't feel like this is over. I feel like there's some kind of climax that has to be reached that can't because something has to be gotten rid of here. And that could be part. Yeah, I, I think that's part of this change that's happening. Death process, right? Something has to die in order for something to be reborn or something to have life again. Um, whatever needs to die is this. This is what needs to die, Scorpio. This is what needs to die, okay? Because freaking Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, and quite clearly with that Seven of Pentacles, there's a lot of evaluation about this. And Nine of Swords, a lot of overthinking about it, even though you're trying to ignore it. And I feel like both of you are trying to ignore it. So like I said, keep in mind, it can just be one person, you know, take it how it resonates. But I feel like it's both of you. Let's look at Release Your Ex. Mm. What decks do I have over here? Eh... There's no way I'm getting bored of my decks. I just, I think I just have too many. I think that's what it is, Scorpios. I think I just have too many decks. Uh, we'll go with Rider Waite. We'll go with Rider Waite. Can I not release your ex? What needs to be removed here? What needs to be gotten rid of? What needs to be removed? What needs to be removed? What 
What needs to be removed? Clyde's just getting water. After playing with it first. <laughs> All right, squares. What needs to be removed here in the situation? Talk about release your ex. In reverse, Cancer, King of Pentacles, Taurus, could also be Earth or Air with the freaking lovers, Gemini energy. Scorpio, your seventh house is Taurus. That's a natural counterpart here. So regardless of this person's sign, the thing that needs to be gotten rid of is the lack of movement. Ooh, I did not mean to do that. I got a little overzealous there. It's the lack of movement. It's the lack of commitment here. But King of Pentacles and the lovers, my God, Scorpio, with the Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups and the Four of Wands, that's a, that's a lot of really awesome little uh, commitment right there. That's a lot of stability. That's a lot of love. And it, it seems like it's divinely guided as well. But the chariot in reverse, that's what needs to be gotten rid of. Whatever this this block of not moving forward is, it needs to be gotten rid of. And it, again, I feel like it's both of you, but it could be on this person's end since it's uh, attached to them. But let's, let's, let's get more cards. I don't know why I'm stuttering. Sorry. Let's get more cards. <laughs> Tell me more about release your ex. Tell me more about what needs to be uh, gotten rid of here. Oh, that's it. Overall energy. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo energy. This Ten of Pentacles can't happen yet until this is released. Until whatever this block is, whatever this chariot in reverse is representing here in this situation, until this is released, you can't have the Ten of Pentacles. Neither of you can. Neither of you can. So let's look at the chariot and see why there's no forward movement. Let's see what this block is. Excuse me. Mm. 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 I'll use be <laughs> sorry. I'll use beautiful creatures for this one. Time for the chariot universe. What's this block? What's the block between Scorpio and this person that needs to be released? don't no you don't sorry he's being a bad cat okay what's the block that needs to be released between scorpio and this person some of the chariot universe what's this block that needs to be released just show me the block i think it's just fear <laughs> tell me about the chariot in reverse what's this block that needs to be released. This is too funny, Scorpio. What's this block between these two people? Tell the chair in reverse. What needs to be released here? What's this block that needs to be released between these two people? Knight of Swords, some communication and some honesty here, a coming together. And it's so funny because this is the Gemini card here. Um, could also be air or fire. Communication. You both have resisted this. And because that communication is lessened, but it's made the connection more intense and more undeniable, it's time to start talking again. It's time to start talking again. I, yeah, I feel like there's a little underlying sense of like mistrust. Like, I don't know if I can trust them. Can I trust them? Tell me about the chariot universe. Tell me about this block. Tell me about this block between these two. Tell me about the block between these two. It's a lot of what ifs of the other person is what I'm getting. Like, what if they don't want this as bad as me? What if they don't want to put in as much effort effort into it as me? What if they actually don't even want me in the way I think they want me? It's a lot of like overthinking. Tell me the chariot in reverse. Tell me more of this block. Yeah. Overall, yeah, we've got five of wands in reverse. 
Leo energy with the frick, yeah, with the two of swords, Libra energy, yeah, this is a lot of just being in the headspace, a lot of inner conflicts here, and with the two of swords, being at a stalemate, being at a stalemate when regarding communication, it's almost like, well, if they talk first, then maybe, well, if they say it first, then maybe, Scorpio, who's gonna say it first, underneath that, by the way, which I freaking love, you are one, I love that, I freaking love this card, you are one, what did I say, it's like your energies are just like, like, combined, like you are one being with your, both of your energies underneath that we do have the three of wands wow with the freaking ace of cups scorpio this is just this is too funny so there is a sense of distance like i said it could be geographical emotional what have you um both of you are engaging this both of you lessened your communication because you saw too many obstacles or you started not really trusting each other for whatever reason or another putting both of you in this stalemate energy and it's kind of like well if if they say okay if if they say they really want this then i'm in but they, they need to say it first. <laughs> they, they need to say it first. I'm waiting for them to say it. Well, they're not saying it. But I guess I'll just talk to them less. I think that's how this started, Scorpio. You kind of needed them to say something and they needed you to say something and neither of you said shit. <laughs> so you just sort of like, well, if they're not going to say it, if they're not going to talk to me about this side or the other, I'm just going to talk to them less. Oh, well, they're talking to me less. I'm just going to talk to them less and then less and less and less. And it's made the connection more and more intense because there's a lot more tension there because you two just need to talk you two just need to be honest here there's an expectation of love it's right here and you both are at a freaking stalemate about this because you're both in your heads about the same goddamn thing because you both are one okay scorpios this was a fun reading to end on i'm glad this was the last one i'm glad this was the last one so scorpios who's gonna who's gonna talk <laughs> who's gonna give is it gonna be you is it gonna be them or are you just going to keep letting this, like, tension build until it just, like, until what? Like, it, it's it's just just talk. Just talk, Scorpio. Just talk. Scorpio's here. Let me give you a little encouragement. If you're the first one to talk and say something, then you can, then you'll always be the person who got the ball rolling. You can always be the person that had the courage or, like, was, you know, what's the word like mature enough or whatever to actually say it you can always wear that badge you can always wear that badge i'm just saying scorpio a little encouragement right there but yeah there's a major expectation of love I, it's totally from both of you totally and all this gemini and energy not to mention we have the lovers here um this could be a counterpart situation for those who resonate with that right um if you if you already know you're in that situation i just can't help but get like very like twinsy here especially with your energies being so intertwine and combine like this but the and especially with the ace of pentacles and the ten of pentacles and if they're the connection to get more intense as you talk less like when does that happen right Ugh. and you're both in your heads about it scorpio it's just time to talk just do it just be the first one to talk just be the first one to talk yeah just do it you you both are you both are thinking the same shit you both are feeling the same thing you're literally one just talk okay scorpio's I hope you guys had a good birthday. The first two were really intense and definitely seemed like they connected to each other. This one seems really yummy. This one seems really fun. Congratulations to it. Congratulations, whoever this is for, if you can just break, you know, break the seal and just be the one to, to just say it first of like, hey, I think this is what's happening with us. Or hey, I care about you. Or hey, insert thing that you need to say. Okay. All right, Scorpios, take care and have a really great night. And I hope you enjoyed it and found it insightful and helpful. Don't forget to check out Patreon and Vimeo and Instagram, and I will see y'all later. Have a good night, Scorps. Namaste.